it's Miranda and it's been seven months since I made a video so now I'm making a video and as you can tell by the title it is reasons why high school is bullshit or bullcrap if you don't curse I'm sorry that'll be the only curse word I will be saying throughout this entire video because personally I do not, not like cursing so my high school experience was not the best. It was probably one of the worst. It was probably the most similar to like how people see high school on TV. And I could probably make a, an entire story time video on each year of my high school experience. If you would like me to, I can do that. If not, then we could just, you know, forget that I ever mentioned that part. So, first reason why high school is bullshit. You don't take anything that you learn in high school, you do not transfer it to college. There is not one piece of evidence, or evidence, there's not one piece of information that I have taken from high school and have applied it to college at all. Maybe something in my English class, but other than that, I learned how to write on my own time. No one really taught me how to do grammar or how to spell, so I still don't know how to spell. And my grammar is eh. I keep getting 80s on my papers because my, my professor was so picky on <laughs> what was in the paper. And nothing I've learned can correlate to what I'm doing in college. Like, I'm, my degree is in computer science, and I took, I took a lot of math classes in high school, and none of them have helped me so far. But, of course, we kind of already knew that math wasn't going to be something that everyone was going to go into, and that everybody's going to, you know, remember. Second reason why high school is BS you don't learn in high school. No, 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 no. Hold on. You don't learn. At least I didn't. And everybody else that was in my school probably didn't either. You do not learn material. You memorize it. You memorize it until the test comes around. And when a test comes around, then you just apply what you've known. And then as soon as the test is over and that chapter is done and you move on to the next thing, that's bye-bye. Quadratic formulas, I don't remember them. I'm probably going to need them. Maybe, but I don't remember them. I just memorized them for the time being. And now that I'm probably gonna need them, I don't know what they are. <laughs> I would have rather have smaller uh, curriculum and go in depth with everything that, that we did than having such a big thing to cover throughout the entire school year and only have, and having to go very quickly from chapter to chapter. We didn't really learn. We just memorized. Sec third reason why high school is bullshit is that I really didn't get it, honestly. But there's only two types of people in high school. Populars and not populars. Now before you say, oh, this bit went to like some high school musical or some pretty little liar or whatever type of high school, no. This is literally how my high school was. <laughs> Either you were popular or you weren't. Either you were skinny, white, thin, and skinny and thin are the same. But other you were like white and like blonde and blue eyes and all this other craziness and you hung out with the jerks that were popular or you weren't. There really wasn't much to it. And before I say that they were all white, no, a lot of them were of Hispanic, uh, Hispanic and black descent, African American, my bad. And, um, but majority were white, all right? They're, they were like Hitler's little clan over there. And if you were not popular, you wouldn't be able to date anybody who was popular, and you probably weren't going to get invited to any of the parties unless you, you knew somebody who had, like, drugs. <laughs> and that was pretty much it. And I remember getting the hard end of the not being popular spectrum when prom came around. I saw this person that I've had a crush on since freshman year, so I asked him if he wanted to dance. He said yes, but after prom was over and he was no longer intoxicated, he wanted nothing to do with me because I was not popular. But I can't guarantee you if I was one of the girls that he hung around with 24-7, he would have no problem continuing to talk to me. I can do a story time on that video all by itself because I do have like evidence and pictures and stuff like that of the night and just to show you guys how much of a jerk this guy was because I wasn't popular so I wasn't worth his time. Um, I guess that leads us into the fourth reason 
why high school is bullshit. You will either date a lot of people or you will not date anybody in high school. Let's just be honest. Um, either you're going to be one of those girls or guys that just date everything that moves or you're going to be more towards, you know, your education and you're not going to really focus on dating anybody. And that's just how it goes. I was that person who really didn't date anybody. I had one boyfriend in high school and that was probably like two and a half months long at the most. And I really hadn't wanted to date anybody after that. I've, I dated a lot in middle school, but never really, I don't even count that as dating anymore. Uh, middle school relationships are not legit. <laughs> At least mine weren't. And uh, high school ones probably are the most, like, that one high school one I've had was probably the most legit relationship I've had in a while. And that's kind of like the reason why I do reasons why I'm single. But no, it's not the point. Um, and that leads us into the fifth reason why high school is bullshit. You are not a person in high school. You do not have any of your rights. You are literally a little marionette in the system. All right? You are there so they can make money and so their grade and because we do grades. We do like A school, B school, C school, whatever. My school is a B school. And they used us to, as much as they could, made us take every single test so we can get that grade up from a B to an A. And did it work? Surprisingly, no, because no one was able to do that test correctly. But God forbid you tell somebody that, hey, you know, we're taking too many tests. They'll call you lazy and all of that. So, yeah, we we're kind of just people who sat there and made the money. Like they took the best athletes and they put them in football. So because football makes the most money for schools, in case you guys didn't know that. The football team does make you a lot of money, and that's why, personally, in my school, the football team was so popular, and everyone supported the football team, and not so much with the rest of the sports. <sighs> that goes to the whatever reason, I don't remember, why high school is bullshit. You are just a number. At least in my school, we were just numbers. We had a student number, and we were defined by that number everywhere we went. To check out a book, to get lunch, to do this, to do that, to do that, whatever. Your number was who you were. It held every piece of information about you that you had put on your um, on your application to go to school. Uh, your registration form, I guess you can say. It classified you, and that's just who you were. When you took a test, that was the number you put in. If When you went to go do something, that was the number you gave. When you called the school, that was the number you gave. It, it was just... Your number it was like your file. I'm pretty sure other colleges have it. My college has it now, and I carry my ID with me, but, you know, at least now I don't always have to have my number on me. Just to get my money, do I have to have my number on me? But other than that, I guess it was just the idea of no one knew me as Miranda. People knew me as, like, the faculty knew me as that number. And when I wanted to go check my grades, I would have to give him that number. Because without that number, they wouldn't know who I was, and there was no way to identify me as who I was. And that, I guess, kind of made me the most upset. That we weren't people. We were just data. We were just numbers. We were that. We were this. And especially that women, we were just kind of just pieces of me that, you know, walked around the school. Um, our dress code is very strict. And a lot of the girls would oftentimes get dress coded. But the second a guy walked in with his pants at his knees, no one really said anything. Uh, we couldn't wear crop tops or shorts or, you know, anything too revealing. This shirt would be very inappropriate to wear to school because my shoulders are showing, a little bit of cleavage is showing. It would just be the wrong shirt to, kind of, to wear to school. And I remember uh, a male admin sending a female admin over to me when I was wearing tights. And the female admin had told me, you are making the, ma the male admin feel very uncomfortable. And that sounded like 15. So, honestly, what is a 15-year-old girl supposed to do when she's making a man feel uncomfortable? That's not something that's, you know, okay. Because not for me, for them. Because why is a grown man feeling uncomfortable around a 15-year-old? That's not how it's supposed to go. That's not okay. That's kind of pedophile-ish, if I do say so myself. And I guess that leads to the next thing that for why high school is bullshit. I don't want to be like, I don't want to scare anybody, but I feel like I already done that. 
<laughs> I'm not here to make high school seem like the worst thing in the history of the world. I do have a lot of memories from high school and friends from high school that I really do enjoy talking to. High school was not the worst time of my life. Actually, yes, it was. But it was not that bad now that I'm out of it. <laughs> so I did three years instead of four, as I said before. So I guess if I had to do another year, I would be a lot more upset about it than if I only had to spend three years there. But... So, the next reason why high school is bullshit, honestly, anybody who probably got felt up by a football player or any other person that had a name at that school, the few people who had names, was kind of brushed under the rug. And I'm not going to talk more into that because I personally don't want to get in trouble for saying that, but honestly, it was kind of just brushed under the rug. If a quarter, if the quarterback, you know, felt you up, you were to keep your mouth shut. Because, again, the quarterback is making money for the school, basically. Because if he's really good, then people are going to want to see them play. Which means, if people want to see them play, they're more likely to get like a scholarship to play football. And if you say anything, you ruin his career. So, a lot of things were kept under the rug. Personally, not me. Uh, that's not what I'm trying to say. I was never uh, touched inappropriately at high school. I would have squealed like a canary if I was. Doesn't matter how much a person was gonna bribe me or pay or whatever. No, that's not right. But from what I have seen and what I've heard and what I've personally like witnessed, it does happen. And it's not okay, but a lot of things that aren't okay kinda kinda happen. You know, you can see from if you're in America you can see from our politics. A lot of things are corrupt over here and it's kind of just correlated because these are public high schools and those are our politicians who kind of rule these high schools and make up our rules for us. And there, are, that's, I think, the main problem as to why high school is so crap is that we have people who are not qualified to run high schools, running high schools and planning our curriculums. You know, we should have our teachers do this. We should, because teachers are not getting paid as much as they should be. And that's all around the board. That's not just for high school. But honestly, teachers are so underappreciated, and I guess that's probably my last reason why high school is bullshit. Teachers are your best friend. Believe it or not, they're going to be there. If you need to talk to them, they will listen. My best friend my last year of high school was my math teacher. As sad and as pathetic as that sounds, he was the only one who cared about me at that school. He would oftentimes say it, and I felt it. He would talk to me when I needed someone to talk to, and I never, ever went to anybody else. Because he was the only person who understood. He was young too, so he, you know, just graduated from college with his master's, so he knew a little bit more about the real world than I did, apparently, obviously. And it helped me realize that these teachers who I've had since freshman year are the people who are going to care for me. My engineering teachers, my math teachers, my English teachers, they all cared to some degree. And I want to thank all the teachers that I had in high school if they ever see this video, which they probably won't. But your teachers will be the only reason why high school is not shit. But the way that they're treated is. So don't mistreat your teachers. They're there for you. And they will be there for you no matter when you need them. They're your best friends, honestly. Teachers do care about you. It's just when someone keeps, you know, interrupting you when you're talking or doing something inappropriate in your class, you're going to get a little fed up. So be nice to your teachers, guys, because you're probably going to need them later on in life. Don't focus too much on being popular, because like I said before, it's not worth it. I wasn't popular, and I have a full ride to the college I'm going to now, and I'm pretty happy with what I got. And I wasn't popular at all. It was the opposite of popular. I hung out. My math teacher <laughs> during school <laughs> like that can't be any less popular than anything else so I guess that's the video then there's not really much else that I can say but just don't give in to peer pressure don't give in to what other people want you to do don't just glaze over things actually look because if you really look at where you are, you can see all the corruption and things that are wrong with your high school. And you won't be as blinded as other people are. You won't be as blinded as those jocks and those blondes and those cheerleaders and whatever people are at your school that, you know, make you feel like, wow, this is my generation? Yeah, the future is fucked. <laughs>
So just be that person that doesn't that doesn't give in to that temptation and that peer pressure to do drugs or alcohol or whatever. And just continue being you because no one's gonna care in college if you're, you know, prom queen, prom king, homecoming queen, whatever. Head cheerleader, it doesn't matter. Because honestly I've made I went to college for summer for six weeks. And those six weeks were more fun than the three years I had in high school. Believe it or not. High college is a time of your life. So don't take high school too seriously. Just do what you gotta do and get out. Don't get wrapped up don't get caught up in the drama, you know, because again, it's all bullshit. And I will see you guys next time with a new video. So bye!